The apex predator is on the hunt. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. This may sound hard to believe, gentlemen, but I think Orton might have actually loosened up a little recently. It's more of a relaxed confidence. Randy Orton knows he's at the top of the game. Yeah, but let's not forget, Randy Orton can still go to that dark place when he has to. And you don't want Orton going old school on you. We talk a lot about who is the best, but Orton has been in the conversation for a very, very long time. Uh, how about over two decades of dominance, Corey? Undeniably on the short list for the greatest of all time. The king of strong style. Ready to deliver big hits and get the big win. That's the only way he knows how. And his opponent from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. Guys, Shin is a... Expressive as he is dangerous. Here's what I love about Shinsuke Nakamura. He's got his own style. He's always going with his own flow. Nakamura is brash and fearless inside the ring. And looks damn cool doing it. Somehow, some way, this superstar needs to figure out how to keep the Viper out of his own psyche. I'm not sure that's possible. You might be right on that account, Saxton. When it comes to consistency and dominance, you have to think of Randy Orton. The Viper always knows where to strike and when to strike. Orton really is as dangerous as they come here in WWE. Shinsuke Nakamura has his sights set on destruction tonight, though, and he has a victim in mind. Shinsuke has embraced his more ruthless tendencies as of late, and it's only made him a bigger threat. This isn't even about winning for him. It's just about causing chaos. German. He returns to the ring. Knew what was coming there. He's turning the tables. Up high. All the way to the outside. Soaring through the sky and crashing onto their opponent. Orton playing mind games with the enemy. By Randy Orton! Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Orton setting his sights and lining him up. Power 
power slam incoming. No. From behind into an inverted DDT. His shoulders are down. And it's Randy Orton able to stop the count. Getting the shoulder up before two tells me the end is not near. matchup require a different mindset, the superstar must be prepared to go all out. Be as aggressive and vicious as possible. Remember, it's no disqualification. Superstars can do whatever they want, but it can only end with a three count or a tap out. And now gets tossed into the ring. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. He's looking to unload on his opponent with that kendo stick. Now he's been forced to take a breather. That last sequence didn't go as he planned. Shinsuke ready to get Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. One wicked attack after another. Man. Orton gets the better there. There's a reason this man is called the Apex Predator. Tides are beginning to shift in the favor of the fight. Will this be enough? He narrowly avoids the count. He really thought that was it. Oh, man. Turns that into a devastating shot to the knee. He avoids the damage. Gentlemen, suplex. He heads outside. Countouts legal in this match. Oh! Devastating kick. A uh -oh. R-bar. Punishing stretch. Battling ringside, and our announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Well, I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Counters the Viper's attack. Kinshasa! Nakamura right on the turn. Kicks out, just kicked out. The Viper remains alive. Randy Orton continues the fight here tonight. Nakamura thought he had him, thought he had this match all wrapped up. Shades of the OEC dub as a kendo stick is introduced to the proceedings. Pow, right in the kisser. Didn't see it coming. In control here with a swinging neck breaker. Textbook. Oh, face stop. He's looking a little weary now. Yeah, the longer this fight goes on, the more Orton's training back and forth blows now. Oh, it looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. Each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. They are emptying their tanks, going back and forth like this. Both absolutely drained, but both refusing to give up. There's a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to surrenders. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. And here comes Old Faithful. The steel chair is in hand. Here's a cover. Could be it. No, a two count. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Bad spot for Nakamura. Shoulder up before three. Nakamura is still in this thing, refusing to let it in. From the top. He paid for that one. Oh, man, big time. These two battling to a dip. What a Out of nowhere. Orton might take it here.
Shinsuke Nakamura unable to get the victory here in this one. Well, as cutting as Nakamura's knee strikes can be, they just weren't sharp enough tonight. That's pretty surprising. Here comes the lone wolf. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin! Baron Corbin's been a king, a jester, an authority figure, even a bum. Yeah, but now Corbin is truly himself. No more gimmicks. Remain calm and do not allow AJ to get under your skin. That's what this gentleman has to do. Yeah, because the moment he allows that to happen, AJ's won this match. Tonight just became phenomenal. A terrific striker, a master purveyor of high-flying, innovative offense. AJ Styles has competed at this level for decades. Such a special and his opponent, athlete. Representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles has a trophy case filled with titles, a WWE Grand Slam champion. This man has done it all, and he has absolutely no fear. There is one thing we've learned all throughout the years, and that's do not bet against AJ Styles. Hey, he might not be the biggest dog, but AJ Styles has got the strongest bite. And there's no one who fights bigger bell to bell than AJ Styles. You're right, if AJ's breathing, AJ's fighting. Over the course of his career, Baron Corbin has worn many hats, had many names, but he's put all of that behind him. He's burned the past and now approaches competition with a ruthless focus. Yeah, forget about all the Corbins you thought you knew. This is a different man, a changed man. Baron Corbin has a new fury to him, an intimidating intensity. Corbin seems more than ready to show that off here in this one. And across the way, we have AJ Styles, the phenomenal one. 
AJ is a veteran. Ah, oh, Bear, incredibly important moment right there, being able to get to the ropes. It can't be understated how much that could have just saved this match. He went right into that turnbuckle. And Corbin with a counter. Oh, this, this superstar using the rope as a weapon. This is uncalled for. If a shortcut presents itself, you better take it. It goes without saying that there is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. From the top. Top and down. He could do it here. And he manages to kick out at one. Showing his determination there with that kick out. Oh, just scrubbing the face on the canvas. And an elbow drop for added measure. Corbin is showing no remorse. This has become all Corbin. Draped across the top rope. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Right to the face. My God. And the phenomenal AJ Styles certainly earns his name. The question is how you contend with someone like that. Simply put, you have to be at your best and do everything you can to match AJ's talent. Rising to his level is easier said than done, but hey, every dog has their day. And Styles has taken a lot of offense now. AJ's opponent actually rising to Styles' level by the looks of things. Momentum isn't completely out of AJ's side just yet. But Styles still has to do more to get this fully in his favor. Wrestling 101. If you can't stand, you can't fight. That offense might have rocked the confidence of Baron. No other word for it. Just technical precision from the phenomenal one. The competitive spirit is alive and well in this one. Yeah, I think these superstars were actually fairly eager to test themselves against one another. That means they recognize each other as being legitimate threats to their own ambitions. Oh, the knee just being torn apart now. High-impact crossbody. And shoulders are down. Two, no, kicks out. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Script on him there. Caught with a lariat. Just mounted with punches and not. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. German suplex spiked. Oh, what a kick! Oh, look at this. Look at the suplex off the top yeah. rope. Hung across the top rope. AJ scaling the turnbuckles. He's really slowly getting up. Here we go. Look at the height. And will this be it? Uh, the competitor now exhausted after that match. Look at this mess. What's the meaning of this? Trash talking. Oh, agitation from the top of the ramp. Apparently we've got a new robbery on our hands.
Here's a man who's already achieved so much in his young career. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. This young man is as cocky as the day is long, but he backs it up every night. It looks like Theory brought all of his friends in the ring with him tonight. Oh, watch your mouth, Cole. You are looking at the youngest United States champion and Mr. Money in the bank ever. How did that cash in go? Well, that... I can't... Well, I, I don't have that information readily available. Usually the guys at 2K are great about giving me the stats. I, I, I'll get back to you. Here comes a man with a vision. And his opponent from Benway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo Cruz. A former United States champion won the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania, but Cruz was still struggling to find himself. Yeah, but now that Cruz has found himself, all of WWE is on notice. It's a true test for this guy. Austin Theory is a complete package of speed, athleticism, and strength. Superstar who loves to get under his opponent's skin, loves to just grind their gears. Look, Cole, Theory can't help it if he's just so preternaturally talented that it makes everyone else jealous. They're just embarrassing themselves, getting so worked up about it, and Theory just so happens to take pleasure in embarrassing his opponents. Yeah, tonight should be no different for Theory. But Apollo Crews is as focused as he's ever been, and he's going to put up quite the fight. Cruz has let the gimmicks and flash distract him. He has lost focus of the mission, but he's back on track now. And back on track for Cruz is a dangerous path for anyone who stands in his way. Placing them into the corner. Great counter. Oh, wow. And Apollo Cruz reverses it. Big splash in the corner. Look, we know Austin Theory can be a mean son of a gun when he wants to. If there were ever a time when he should turn that aspect of his personality on, I would say this match is that. It's a tightrope to walk. Playing possum! Shoulders down! And easily kicks out of the count. Gonna take a lot more than that to keep this man down. He is looking to do some serious harm and a thunderous forearm to follow. It's a rather crude facial reconstruction. That's not very nice. Face gouge. Oh, God. That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. He's taking some good hits. Yeah, his theory absolutely has adding insult to injury on his mind. Vicious right forearm. Oh, and a forearm. And theory's maintaining the advantage now. And that's a no-nonsense theory managing that tightrope, showing his aggression. He might be able to start mounting something here. Could be a change of fortunes for Cruz. Hellacious power slam. Bam! 
down he goes. And wait a minute. What's the manager doing under the apron? A manager grabbing anything from under the ring is beyond unfair. It's just down the evil. He's got him in the crosshairs. From way up. Oh, what a landing. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. This match's brutality starting to show on him. Theory very clearly on a high after delivering that maneuver. on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. He turns it around. No way. Mistake made by Cruz. Well, I guess when you're told you're the guy, you start thinking you're the guy because Theory is looking cocky. Austin Theory about to take his opponent. Hits Surviving that maneuver is absolutely amazing. And Theory clearly thought he had it there. He might have to consider a new strategy at this point. Slips out of the way. Someone driver. Cruz resolve might be wavering here. Theory is doing the job of breaking the opposition down. From the top. Elbow drop. The close of this match is just ahead. He needs to get himself some room to regroup fast. He did it! He did it! Here is your winner, Austin Theory! And Apollo Crews defeated here tonight. Well, Apollo didn't have it going on here tonight. The most extravagant, flamboyant, eccentric, and gorgeous team in WWE history. The following is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 357 pounds. The NXT UK Tag Team Champions, Elton Prince and Kid Wilson, pretty deadly. Dominated the NXT UK and NXT tag divisions as soon as they arrived. These two have a certain style and a je ne sais quoi opponents just lack.
Proof that looks can be deceiving. Oh, come on, Cole. Don't judge a book by its gorgeous cover. You try, Cole. Yes, boy. Come on, Cole. Please. Don't say it, Michael. Don't say it. Hey, Michael, <clears throat> it's fight night! You've obviously never, ever been in a fight, like ever, in your entire life. Please, never do that again, Saxton, for all of our sakes. You've never been in a bar, either. And their opponents, accompanied by the Celtic warrior, Sheamus, at a combined weight of 458 pounds, Ridge Holland and Butch, the brawling Bruce. Ridge, Holland, Sheamus, Butch, three men bonded by their love for fighting. Yeah, you could say that again, Cole. These three will fight anyone in the locker room, anyone in the street. Heck, they'll fight each other if they have to. Hey, no matter who fights who, there's one guarantee. It'll be fun to watch. The brawling brutes are about to show us all how they earned that name. Ladies and gentlemen, fight night is officially underway. The two goofs in the super crop tops are Kit Wilson and Elton Prince, collectively known as Pretty Deadly. Goofs? Cole, these two men are as professional as they come. They come into work every week to take care of business. It's not a crime to look good doing it. In fact, I think the only crime around here is one of fashion, and I'm looking in your direction when I say that, and the Saxtons, too. I would love to see some of that professionalism in this match, then. That would be pretty deadly. If you ask me. Well, coming out here and fighting with all they have, that's a source of pride for the Brawling Brutes. And you won't find a more physical and in-your-face team here in WWE. Yeah, and any team who happens to believe they're more physical than the Brutes, well, the Brutes will have no problem proving them wrong. Into the corner now. Oh, and a reversal. No, 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 no. Oh, DDT off the apron. Shifts it back onto him. Oh, come on. Why would you stoop that long? And after that shot to the knee, what could be next? Oh, bear hugs. Bear hug. Well placed elbow. We'll get you out of it. That might be enough. Yes, it is. Look at this, knee after oh. knee after knee. Ooh. Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. There's a tag. Uh-oh. Elbow drop. Here's the cover. Close call. That was almost lights out. As the wrist trapped. And this is just next level brutality. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. <laughs> trapped with a suplex. Great counter by Wilson. Kick gets reversed. Gotta find a way to get out of this. can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Oh, 
jarring back elbow. He can pin his opponent right here. Pushes through after two. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Into the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Uppercut. Jarring. Turns it around. Soul of the foot meets the stomach. form of offense for that move. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash! Oh, strong impact! Oh, watch this display of power. Being able to pull that off, no one is going to put in the cover. Dying a two count there. Could be in search of a second win now. To bring IQ on display there. Uh oh. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. He deflects it right back. This precision teamwork. Boom! Beautiful teamwork. Grabbing a hold of the arm. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. That unraveled on Elton. struggle here. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Gut wrench and hoisting up their opponent. And down with a DDT. Big opening for Holland to take this. Uh-oh. Oh, to the back of the neck. What a lariat. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Oh, oh what an uppercut. John. And a 
tag there. Big forearm. Waist lock applied, but their opponent manages to fight out with a series of punches. Boom! Suplex, oh. here it comes. Nicely done. Tag is registered. Tag is made, and here we go. Dropped it with a big shoulder tackle. You can see the battle scars on their bodies, and they are telling an epic tale. These men are showing everyone the desire, the strength, and the will it takes to compete at this level. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? And tag, he's in now. Finally, big clothesline. He's got him scouting. <laughs> Nothing fancy here, just raw power. Jarring impact. Lands an elbow. And he sends him into the corner. Hip toss. Boom. Tag man, here comes the double team. This one may be over. Spilt melt by Pretty Deadly. Look at Rich. His lights are out. Cover. And there's the save. Dropped it with a big shoulder tackle. Splash in the corner. Followed up by a... This could do it! shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. Placed in the corner. Wicked forearm. Did you hear that thud? Now a series of vicious stumps. Kid Wilson is fired up and wants this crowd to know it. Tag made. Tag made. Big forearm. His opponent is just overwhelming him here. Holding on by a thread, maybe even less at this point. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Right to the cut. Two. He refused. 
misses. That's gonna hurt. Kid can end this now. Surviving that will cost, though. I don't know how someone kicks out of that. I don't know how you can still be standing. That move has brought victory before, but not on this occasion. Might be time to think outside the box. Taking out the knee. Tag. <laughs> Setting up for something here. Lands face first. Lifts their opponent's uh, legs. Uh, and oh. Ouch. That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. Uh-oh. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh, he's out at two. I am shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. Should do it right there. Coming to the rescue. Holland's legs are teetering. He might have nothing left. Ridge prevents that from connecting. And this has quickly become a match to be remembered. A classic in the making. How in the world is it going to end? Reaches his partner for the tag. Kit turns that around. Here's the snapmare. Followed by a knee drop. A fracture in orbital. Kick to the gut. And a big right hand. And every hit Butch is taking now is more fatal than ever. Kit must be having thoughts of ending things soon. Kit gets reversed. And finds a counter. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. Does he have him here? Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. What? What? Oh, oh, what do you say? That This is amazing. What a match. Looking wobbly in the corner. Oh, right in there. Oh, look at it grind the features off their face across the top rope. Ooh. Pinpointing the leg. Ooh. The power ball. Looking for the victory. Two count. Ridge Holland and Butch, the brawling Bruce.
Gallus is here. And they are ready for a fight. The following is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Wolfgang at a combined weight of 486 pounds. Mark Coffey and Joe Coffey Gallus. Stepping out of the pub tonight to take care of business. I'm sure they're in a rush to get back there too. There is no safe quarter when Gallus is in action. Everyone is a target. Class is in session. Master Gable has arrived. And their opponents, first, representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable! Chad may be the greatest coach of all time. Look what he did to Otis. Yeah, but is Chad Gable actually teaching the right lessons? Look at the record book, Saxton. You see all those W's? Those look like the right lessons to me. Great tag team partner, great mentor, great single star. Chad Gable has not only resurrected his career, but Otis's as well. And Gable does it all for the Academy. Tree Trunk is here. And representing the Alpha Academy from Superior, Wisconsin, weighing in at 330 pounds, Otis. The big man Otis, 330 pounds of good times and big wins. Otis lives on a steady diet of delivering beatdowns. And Otis is going to feed on even more tonight. Unleashed in the ring, hard hits and smooth dance moves. Look, I like Otis plenty, but I could do without the dance moves. Oh, just live a little, Corey. There's the bell, and Gallus looks ready to unleash their brand of bold and daring Ooh. offense. Yeah, and at times, they are downright brass, Michael. There are no pleasantries about the way they attack their opponents, no matter who the unfortunate team is to meet them in the ring. I wouldn't want to meet them in the pub either, Bobby. And then you have a team that is all about being the pinnacle of competition, the Alpha Academy. They have everything to lose, and they compete with that in mind. Can he score the pin? Uh, maybe. Stops the count before it, too. He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of him. Nice hip toss. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. He skirts away, living to fight another day. If anything, this is the last thing that is going to get the WWE Universe to shoot. And Gable had it scouted. Gable's pushing back now. Yeah, but he needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. Kick right to the ribs. And there's more to come. Brady Buster. Coffee has swayed the momentum his way. Mark Coffee is just doing what he pleases. And oh, my God, what a forearm. Right to the jaw. And perhaps a reevaluation of the lesson plan is in order for the Alpha Academy after that. Able to get there in time. Oh my God! Stopped dead in their tracks. Oh, 
Overhead. Set all the way to the outside. Bam! Draped across the top rope. Clubbing four. Tagged in. Taking head over heels. He gets out of the way. Uh oh. Executed suplex. Oh, God. That looked devastating. And the manager is searching under the ring. He could only be looking for something nefarious down there. In full control here. Oh, face first. Strong punch to the midsection. Lands a body shot. He's in off the tag. Expect victory yet. Great counter. Getting set up for something in the corner. What's Gable composing here? Crashing down with authority. And Coffee is laid out. And there's the save. End this now. Oh, he's playing possum. Cover. Kicks out before one. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Mark didn't see that coming. From the top and tag. He did it. Let's go. Rough landing. And a reversal by Otis. Oh, fuck it. God's landing face first. Joe looking unfocused after that blow. Yeah, it looked like the Alpha Academy curriculum worked out. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxony. He might get caught. And well-timed maneuver there. Uh-oh. Reversal! Can he take advantage? He's been placed in the corner now. has been cut off. Oh, targeting the arm. This is gonna hurt. Oh, this could be something. And the slam. Oh, this can be looking to end this. Cover. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe oh. Maybe The superstar hooking the arm. Look at this rush of strikes. Oh, what an intense striking combination. Just launched. Ah, oh, look at this. Just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Sent into the corner. What reflexes to stop Joe Coffey? Ah, 
God, look at this. Oh, working on the arm. Yes, tag. This is not going to end well. The Exploder. Oh, he got him. Body breaks free, but will the damage prove to be irreparable? Textbook fireman's carry takeover. The WWE Universe is absolutely on fire right now. I can barely hear you, Byron. I'm loving this. Punishing power slam. He has to be at his limit now. Might want to walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. Now is the time for Chad Gable to find a way to shift into that extra gear. Got to hurt. Loading up, full speed ahead, hip attack. Tagged into the action. Gable avoids that one. Get his press! Tucks his tail between his legs and gets out of there. There he goes, right into the corner. Ooh, grating across the face. Raped across the top rope. Climbing forward. Oh! Tags him in. Mark Coffey has it marked. Takedown awards the mark. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Uh-oh, and what a reversal from Chad Gable. Flexing their technical acumen. Boom, a forearm smack. Here he goes for the win. No, stops the count at two. Incredible resiliency. Repeated waistlock takedowns. He's one step ahead there. Ziguri on the air. And this has got to be it. He keeps his team in the match. Gable is stumbling to his feet. Quick thinking pays off. Drives a foot into the stomach. And Mark continues to have the fight taken to him. And give it up to Gable, still going strong here despite the grueling toll this match is taking on him. Yeah. Fought off with an elbow. Oh, Northern Lights! What a match. What a match. Stiff headbutt. Does he get it? Chad Gable and Otis, the Alpha Academy. An absolute master class here from the Alpha Academy. Cole, don't sound so surprised. The Alpha Academy represents a standard of in-ring excellence, and we just witnessed said standard from the best seats in the house.
Some of the most positive and energetic superstars you'll ever meet. The New Day. No one gets the crowd fired up like the New Day. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida. Weighing in at 285 pounds. you clapping because i cannot stand this this is ridiculous Cut. like someone threw up unicorn glitter all over wwe okay we get it we get it you're a debbie downer get it biggie nice to see you've been studying your third grade book of insults byron saxton <laughs> It's time to get out of the way. The fastest rising star is in the building. And we're about to see whose game it is. His opponent from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, LA Knight. LA Knight will hand out a beatdown to anybody, any night of the week. It doesn't matter to him. So, here's some advice for him. Uh, try to avoid Big E's earth-shaking power. And again, this might be the last moment he spends outside of Big E's grasp. Here we go with L.A. Knight in the ring. You know, some people question if Knight was ready to clash with WWE's upper echelon. Yeah, well, those same people seem pretty quiet now, Cole. L.A. has made it clear WWE is his game, and he's taking control. He can no longer be ignored. L.A. Knight walks around with a chip on his shoulder, and that gives him an intensity that is difficult to contain. But let's not... Oh, no, he can be caught here. Bad spot for him. We're on, and the ropes break this one up. Great ring awareness there. That'll turn your lights out. Nice counter from Big E. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Ooh. What now? Ooh, stop to the tummy. Tummy? Big E's focus perhaps being tested there. L.A. Knight backing up that talk with some masterful in-ring work. Taking it outside the ring now. Knight caught by surprise. Oh! Boy, what a kick. Oh, putting focus on the arm here. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. Kick. Uh oh. And he's able to counter. Oh! Oh! He's testing fate here in danger of a countout. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Oh, come on. Double countout. This one just spiraled out of control.
He's back at NXT. A man who has completely transformed himself mentally and physically. Really uh, went through a resurgence and a rebirth when he returned to NXT. Had a new attitude. McIntyre now laser focused. Continues to dominate everything in his path. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Ayr, Scotland. Weighing in at 254 pounds. The Scottish Warrior, Drew. There is no getting between Drew McIntyre and his goals. Whether the WWE Universe supports him or not, Drew will stay on the top of the food chain in WWE. Drew McIntyre has an unparalleled focus, refuses to let the outside noise get to him. Yeah, as clear-headed as a superstar can be, which only makes him even more dangerous. He's a true alpha male. Braun Breaker, ready to dominate. And his opponent from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker. We've seen a fury to Braun Breaker, a fiery temper that fuels him in the ring. And that fire cannot be extinguished. You do not want to get into a striking exchange with Drew McIntyre if you hope to survive this matchup. In many ways, Braun Breaker was born for this. Wrestling is in his blood. He grew up watching his father and uncle decimate top talent. Now he's here to do the same. But Breaker isn't just an iteration on his family's past success. He's an evolution built for the future of... And look at this now, yes! Whoa, whoa, look at that! And somehow he's able to work his way out of the holes. Placed into the corner. Oh, elbow caught him right on the bridge of the nose. Carefully placed stop to the arm. So much damage inflicted. From the top. Elbow drop. Good Lord. Is it enough? A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Oof. But here comes the fire. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Corey, we've seen the immense success Braun Breaker has already achieved. That has to be a tremendous amount of pressure to maintain this sort of trajectory. Yeah, Cole, I don't envy the kind of pressure Braun Breaker has on his shoulders, but he needs to maintain focus one match at a time. If he does that, he should be successful. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Well, grabbing the arms and just rapid stops. The stop in every single part of his body. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. He's absorbed some damage already. Yeah, McIntyre proving he possesses a dominant offense. 
Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Focusing on a body part, picking it apart. The arm's as good of a place to focus as any. Tender for the top rope, but that's what we just saw. It's over, all in a nice work. Here is your winner, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. This one ends in a victory for Drew McIntyre. What an effort by Drew McIntyre. A big win here tonight. McIntyre came ready for war. He was aware of the situation and stands victorious. She is a woman who is here to take control. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, representing Damage Control from San Jose, California, Bailey. She is more conniving than ever. I think you mean cunning. Bailey is a genius tactician. Always has a scheme in place, some way to get ahead. Well, certainly won't let the rules stand in her way. Oh, spare me. Bailey just does what it takes to win. Everybody's excited for Bailey to compete here tonight. Well, except for Cole. I love seeing her compete. I just can't stand it when she talks. Alexa Bliss is here. One of the most accomplished competitors in the women's division. And her partner from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. She's held the SmackDown, Raw, and Women's Tag Titles on multiple occasions each. The second woman in WWE history to win the Women's Triple Crown. We are about to see five feet of fury unleashed. And that is bad news for Alexa's opposition.
There is only room for one at the top of the mountain on the throne of WWE's women's division, and that place is occupied by Charlotte Flair. Listen, it was Charlotte who only took a couple months after her, de her debut to win her first championship here in WWE, and Charlotte hasn't looked back since. Prepare for pure chaos. Here comes and Sherry. From New Orleans, Louisiana, sensational. Sherry acts up shrieking screams with unending assaults. Uh, check her resume, Saxton. Sherry has been dominant in WCW, ECW, and of course, WWE. A bona fide manager of champions who has been a champion in her own right. A ruthless individual, a vicious competitor. I can see why they call her Scary Sherry. Oh, enough with the disgraceful slander, Cole. You wouldn't say that to her face. Sherry's an elite competitor. Teams in their respective corners for tonight's tag team contest. In this one, we have Bailey and Alexa Bliss. And this is sure to be a barn burner of a tag match in this encounter with Charlotte. Uh, Bailey sends her opponent outside the ring. Dropkick finds the mark. a trampoline. Oh, quite an effective counter. And now thrown back into the ring. She sent flying into the corner. Oh, man, what a boot. Bailey did her homework there. Switching it up. Oh. Boom. Kick to the face for your troubles. Close line. Got their opponent set up. Go oh, from behind. That'll give you some whiplash. Elbow drop on target. Nice Japanese arm drag. Turning the tables there. Pretty drop kick. Oh, the reversal by Bailey. Oh my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insult. Tag their way in. And I don't believe the partner's happy about it. Superstar uh, on the outside, tied oh. the in, and gets a fist to the face for their trouble. I thought these two cleared up their issues. I think it's safe to say that this tag team is effectively over. So much for teamwork making the dream work. Well, now we basically have a handicap match on our hands. Cover! Kicks out on a pinfall attempt. This isn't even close to over. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Oh! The switch here to Charlotte. Shoulder right to the midsection. My goodness, is this even legal? I don't think so. My God, enough! And she goes for the pin. She kicks out in one. 
She just shocked everyone in the ring. Punched to the stomach and stopped in their tracks. Side slam! She did her homework there. And the Queen hits a spear! This could be it! Cover! Barely kicks out. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. She can end it here. Charlotte's still in this. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Just disrespectful. The disrespect can be tasted in their mouth. There's something personal going on between these competitors. You can just tell. A lot of mean-spirited looks getting exchanged in the ring. Yeah, this rivalry has become something of a powder keg. Look at a backpack stutter. Bang! And Alexa could have used a little more aggression there, I think. The Queen came into this match with the express purpose of putting a beating on a peasant, and that was a step closer to it. Out of the blue, Bliss gets countered. Uh-oh. She turns it right around with a counter. Bliss with the kick into the sunset. Oh. Oh. Into a powerbomb. Now that's what you call impact. Slam. Oh! Headed to the top now. From the top. Big mistake there, Corey. <laughs> she knows that now. How insulting is that? She's tagged in. Great counter by Sherry. She's forced onto the defensive now. Single leg takedown. Step over toes. This will win the match. Trying to maneuver her out. She needed that badly. Throws her back in from ringside. Ooh, what a forearm club. That's not right. Oof. Insult to injury. She covers for the pin. Kick out. She still has life. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. Launching. Boom. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Alexa gets reversed. Kick to the gut by Bliss. Follow by. Connects with the DDT. That has Sherry rocked. There's two. Shoulders up. Shoulders up. She was barely able to get that shoulder up. I cannot believe she had the wherewithal. Look at Alexa Bliss, guys. She can't believe it. She thought she had it in the bag. Gets the tag. into a statement DDT. Shoulders down! Great officiating as the ref noticed she was on the ropes. Oh, what force to the back of the neck. Oh, God, that hurt. Able to tag her partner. Oh, oh my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. It's just insulting. Kick. Beautiful. She's looking for the win. Got it. No, just a two. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Charlotte tagged in. Here comes the queen. Oh, low tackle. She'll need some serious recovery time after this. Yeah, not looking good at all. Boom, face first.
to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. She just dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. It's incredible how these women have been going at it in this one. What's really incredible is that they still seem far from finished. Oh, straight forearm. Knees to the midsection. Insult to injury. Dominating shoulder tackle. Alexa just taking a moment to soak it all in. And this is just a vulgar display of ruthlessness. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Oh, my goodness. Tag. Nice drop kick. She just turned it around. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Standing on the hair. Paying it right back with a reversal. Catches the leg. Oh, elbow to the knee. Lock it in, the dragon slip. Looks like she has other plans here. I think she was just looking to soften her up a little there. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Got the underhook. Bang! Backbreaker. Fall. And Charlotte got rocked off of that one. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Got the front face lock applied. Nice suplex. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Gotta hurt. Oh, target in the arm. This is wrenching away on the arm there. Oh, what's going to happen here? Look out. The Explorer bang into the corner. And now she's looking to go top rope. From the top, Dirty double axe handle. This arena is roaring. I think the desk is shaking. Raking them. Alexa Bliss with a DDT. Did Bliss end it there? Makes the cover. Almost ended it there. You are not alone in your shot, Cole. We all thought that was it. Ooh, dropped right on their face. Went right for the shoulder. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. And hard to tell where Bliss is still finding these bursts of offense. Here's where Charlotte's ability to endure could get called into question. Bliss is putting her opponent on notice. Ah, oh, look at this! Hair pulled net slam! Charlotte is losing grasp of this match now. Bliss is executing her game plan. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Tag made, tag made. for that effort.
strikes with a kick. Leg trapped. Looking for the heel hook stretch. Oh, that's going to hurt. You can see the rage in Alexa boiling right now. Sherry needs to bring the match back to her pace. And Sherry now in a challenging position. Yeah, Bliss is giving everything she has left. Great counter by Sherry. Opportunity now for Sherry to capture some momentum. Sherry hoping to start a rush of her own with that attack. Ooh. What a hot shot. It's all the way to the outside. Ah, oh, look at this. Hair pull neck slam. Yeah. Uh, using a handful of hair to deliver the snapmare. And this is even worse. My goodness. There's a tag. Hits the mark. Ooh. Russian leg sweep. And Alexa's attack gets intercepted. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Oh my God. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spot. Climbing up to the top now. Up high. Sherry from the top room. Feeling like it's over for Bliss. Amazing. I've got to give credit to Bliss. She is really displaying lots of true grit. That is firing your biggest shot, but leaving your prey left standing. Time to reload. Bodies have been decimated, fortitude has been tested, and these fans are showing their approval of these superstars' performances. Into the STO! Oh, meet me in the basement. I've got a foot to the face for you. I set out Matt Slam. Side. Ooh! Boom! Across the top rope, all the way to the floor. Set him up for the front oh. leg sweep. Nicely done. And now she delivers her back into the ring. She kicked out. You and I both, Byron. Able to reverse. Dodged right on cue. Well executed arm drag. Ripping their opponent down by the hair. Placing them into position. And look at this agonizing situation. And pulling the arms up and torturing their opponent. <laughs> Down in the basement with a drop kick. Bliss way up high. Alexa Bliss well scouted by Charlotte. Yeah. 
Shoulders down. Could she finally put this away? Kick out. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Everyone is out of their seats right now. All eyes are glued on the action in front of them. On the throat in the corner. Grabs their opponent by the ankles into a powerbomb. She avoids the contact. Trap in the arm. STO. Face buster. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Alexa. Twisted bliss. Alexa might decide it right here. Bliss taking in the adulation from the adoring WWE Universe. From the middle rope, big miss right there. Evading offense. And a snap powerbomb. Thunderous impact. Bliss turns that around. Arm drag takedown. Oh, what a chop. Into the corner. This can't be good. Quick exchange of counters there. <laughs> Bang! Ah, <laughs> oh, bless. Look at this. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Bliss with that chilling look. This could be horrific for Alexa Bliss. DDT. Going to the well again. Will it produce dividends? There's two. Oh, she picked up the victory. Picked up the victory. Here is your winner, Alexa. Overcoming the odds might be the sweetest taste of victory. Not losing focus and taking care of business. Tremendous. Absolutely, guys. Didn't think it was going to end this way. Even though they got the win, I don't know if this rift is too big to overcome. Katana Chance, the Warriors of NXT. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, the team of Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. They love to have fun, but they are all business inside the ring. Get ready for some super athletic competition from Chance and Carter, folks. I cannot wait to see it. And the after party is going to be pretty great as well.
She is one of the most beloved competitors in WWE history. And their opponents, first from Baltimore, Maryland, Stacey Keebler. Not only are her looks exquisite, her kicks are lethal. Legitimate athleticism. One of the most successful competitors in women's division history. The entire women's division looking to make their name at the expense of Stacey Keebler. The man has arrived. And the WWE Universe is on their feet. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch! She is as tough as they come. Yeah, these days the outfits may be a little fancier, but the passion in Lynch remains the same. Perhaps the most popular competitor in women's division history. Katana Chance and Caden Carter, two superstars who refuse to let their diminutive stature define them. In fact, they even consider their size an asset. Yeah, for as small as they are, they more than make up for that with their athleticism and unorthodox offensive style. Chance and Carter's in-ring dynamic really is unmatched. They can do things in the ring we've never even seen before. But their opponents are tired of hearing about them. Tonight's about stealing a spotlight. It's about establishing a new regime around these parts. You could sense the disdain before the bell even rang. Left by the turnbuckles. Oh, just making their opponents suffer with their boot. Ah, oh, absolutely punishing. Now, can she score the pin? Strong kick out there. She's still got a lot of stamina left. Using the hair to drag their opponent down. Oh, no. Look at this. Gotta be careful not to get disqualified. And she'll make the tag. Got the tag. Got the tag. Ooh. Systematic attack on the arm from Becky. Oh, well scouted by Carter. Driven down face first. Torturous focus on the leg, punishing the leg. Tendons and ligaments in the leg can be easily damaged by that. Ooh. Well scouted reversal there. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. She's pushed into the corner. And Caden was scouted there. There's the crucifix, nicely done. Running forearm! She manages to get control. With the Larian. Knee strike! Carter looked impressive after that. And that was, that might be it. She overcomes the pinfall attempt. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. A tag made, double team coming, basement drop kick, followed by Atomic, Atomico! Tandem offense in effect. A good team knows how to truly work as one. 
Just hot shot it to the outside. The man connects. Nice calf kick. Great elevation. Ooh, what a forearm club. Oh, what a clubbing blow. Manhandle slam. They are both seeing red right now. This level of hostility is only going to lead to bad, bad things, guys. Put into the corner now. In full control here, face first. Oh, God. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Pointing the leg, punishing the leg. Pain must be shooting through that leg now. Uh oh. What a hurt, Karan. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. Tag. Tag. Snap mare. Oh, what a kick. And now the double team. Look out! Who better to use as a weapon than your own partner? Teamwork making the dream work right here with that display. Ah, oh, jeez! And she's stunned in the corner. Ah, oh, wrist lock up to the top rope. She's starting to drag a little bit. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Lynch now on the offensive. Whoa! Suicide dive! No sign of hesitation, and that risk gained big rewards. And gets tossed back into the mat. Answering <laughs> back! She turns it around on Carter. Becky Lynch looking for it. Manhandle slam. Becky's got bad intentions in mind. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Lynch is gone. And she releases the hold as she feels that enough damage has been done. Should have kept on wrenching. Why show mercy now? There's a snap mare delivered and precise drop kick to the base of the skull. Knee to the side of her head. Oh. Here's the pump handle. Suplex launched. The Van Goat of WWE daring her opponent to rise to her level. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. Yeah, she is in a rough spot now. And surely she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. Well, if she does, maybe she just doesn't care. Toss back into the ring. And down. Ooh. Referee's count stopped. She stays in this. Just barely, Cole. Ooh, look at her answering back. will not go away. Lynch responds. Systematic attack on the arm for Becky. I'm starting to wonder if these superstars even have breaking points. Now, we're well beyond that now, Saxton. We're so far out in the deep waters, it might as well be the abyss. And off the tag. Running clothesline. Playing possum. Whoa. Playing possum. And she breaks the count. I 
got to tell you, I thought she was done there. Ah, oh, takedown. And now punches right. Keen off. Play possum. Whoa, play possum. Strong kick out late into the match. Late in the match, but somehow has the incomparable power to kick out before the one count. Oh, kick connects. Look at that. Grief, this is chaotic. Come on, ref. From the middle rope. Katana was expecting that. She catches Katana with a counter. Katana needs to get her wits about her fast. Oh, oh, oh rocking the jaw. Terrible position for Chance. Try to end it. Team chemistry in full effect with these two superstars. Chemistry on point. Teamwork looking sharp. For my money, this is the best women's tag team around.